Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Let's Pixel video. Today, I'm going to be doing something different from the last ones. I'm going to be doing a Let's Pixel for a Pokemon, and I'm going to do my favorite one, which is Ryolu. So let's get started. I've got some references over on my left screen here. So we'll start with a blue color. So first, I want to start with really rough shapes, kind of basic shapes for the character, and get the pose right. And then after I get that done, I'll go into some more details. And you can see I'm using more of a palette. This one comes with a sprite and it's this one right here. So if you're interested in using the same palette, you can through a sprite. Okay, I've got the basic shapes in. I'm going to be messing with the pose a little bit here because I'm not sure that I like it yet. We'll probably just use the transform tool here or the move tool, move stuff around, try and get a pose that I'm a little bit happier with. Okay, I'm much happier with this pose, and the main problem with the other pose, in my opinion, was the arm right here. The biggest problem was having the arm clear down here. It looked way off balance. Having it up higher like this on the other side of the head helps a lot. So now I'm going to be adding in some more details, mainly focusing on the outline at first and trying to clean up the lines that I already have. And it also looks like Ryolu has some sort of little yellow thing around its neck, so I'll be adding that as well making sure that I'm not leaving out details like that. Just want to mention here real quick that I'm specifically not using the outline tool because I found that it's actually easier for me just to do outlines on my own a lot of the time to make sure I have better control. I use it to help clean up my edges too anyways. So there is the built-in outline tool in a sprite and sometimes it's it's useful, but in this case, I'm just gonna do it the outlines myself. Okay, I've added a background color and I'm going to be adding in some darker colors for the shading here and then some anti-aliasing potentially. I already started a little bit with that, but I'll be adding some to clean up the outlines and we'll see how it goes there. Basically, I'm going to start focusing on the details now. This will probably be the longest section.
Okay, I think I'm finished with this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you did, give the video a like and a thumbs up, and I will talk to you all later.